Richmond. This is so cool. It's perfect. Like sunrise, no one's here. It's no just one's us four. here. Now it's time to go find the secret cave. Ooh, hello. Ooh. It's 4.50 a.m. and we're hiking to Devil's Bridge for sunrise. Bucket list item <laughs> checked off. We've been wanting to come here for probably for a long time, and this is so cool. It's perfect. Like sunrise, no one's here. It's no just one's us here. Four. We yeah. here. So this trail is only 3.6 miles if you go on the Jeep road and then you connect with the trail. So you park at the main parking lot, walk up this really like off-road type road, and then it's, you hook up with the trail. It's super easy. Not yeah, a hard hike at all. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, it took us maybe an hour because we were in the dark, but. Yeah great hike and oh. coming at sunrise there's no one here and we hear that later in the day there's a line to get on the bridge so that would suck it's worth getting up yeah. at 345 Just bite the bullet and do it <laughs> it's totally worth it so cool yeah. So from a distance, it looks kind of scary to go across and that it's really narrow and you'll fall off, but it's actually pretty wide. So if you're worried about feeling scared or nervous, you shouldn't be. I'm kind of scared of drop offs normally, but I felt totally safe up there. A uh, really great spot to have a sunrise picnic and watch the sun hit all of these beautiful mountains. What an awesome morning. Sunrise hike, check. Now it's time for breakfast. We're at Indian Gardens Cafe and Market, which is the spot we found on Yelp. It has like a ton of reviews and all five stars, and it's the cutest little building. They have this awesome outdoor area. They have blankets, mm -hmm. and the food looks amazing. I got this garden bowl, which has like kale, potatoes. I got pork belly, cauliflower, uh, pesto, and then we got a bunch of salsas. So I got this excellent looking breakfast burrito, and I got it enchilada style, so it's got sauce and cheese all over it, and they got a lime here that I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and Give it a little squirt. Squeezy doo da. Yep. And then I have Catherine's poached eggs on the side that I'm gonna let just melt all over too. And I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Sedona, you have to come here. This was such an awesome spot. Oh, man. So good. It's five out of five on Yelp, and it needs like a ten out of five. This yeah. place is like super cool. The like, people were so friendly and nice. People are friendly. The food is awesome. The blankets on the chairs yeah, the outside. outside area is so oh, cool. Man, that's a nice touch. Oh, love this place Coffee so much. Coffee was great. It's like a little bit north of like the main Sedona area, but don't let that scare you. It's not a far drive at all. No. It is awesome. The drive out is beautiful too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just, I, <laughs> I can't stop saying how much I love this place. Yeah. It's so good. You have to come here. <laughs> Must stop. Hike number two for the day, Soldier Pass. There are only 14 parking spots in the parking lot very uh suboptimal <laughs> so if you're anything like us you're gonna have to park a half mile down the road and walk down there so but be careful because there are a lot of like no parking signs and they will ticket and tow yeah. you so it's 40 dollars we hear which isn't that bad but so. still probably not worth it nah. <laughs> So the first stop on the trail is Devil's Kitchen, which is a sinkhole. And then shortly after we leave this spot, we're gonna hit the Seven Sacred Pools, which might be more like the Seven Sacred Puddles. I don't know, we'll find out. It's like these big 
holes in rocks and like water fills up in them and it's supposed to be really cool when there has been a lot of rain. And then we're gonna go try to find the secret cave that I've saved a bunch of directions of how to get to it. And then we'll go to this like panoramic spot at the end and then turn around and go back. So we have three sacred pools. I don't know where the other four are. I see a couple little holes where they could be, but I don't think it's rained much. It rained a little bit yesterday, but probably not enough to fill them. But the backdrop is super awesome. So the pools may be a little underwhelming if you're expecting like majestic pools, but the backdrop is really cool. And I still think it's pretty cool. All right, I lied. I found more pools. So we have two right here that are filled. This little guy down here that's filled. And then if you go over here, we got two more little guys. We're lounging poolside. Woo! And similar to the whole trip so far, we have the whole place to ourselves. I know. There have been a lot of people going on this trail, but I guess they're not staying and stopping here. So hopefully we don't run into them because we're loving all the seclusion we're experiencing on this trip. It's awesome. And now it's time to go find the secret cave. Ooh, hello. Ooh. So according to my map, I starred the location. This should be the trail to the cave. So we actually created a two day in Sedona guide and I'll link to that below and we'll have a link to how to find this. Um, there's actually like GPS coordinates that we're using. So hopefully it all goes well and we get there soon. All right, here we go. tricky to get up and down but there are some spots on the rocks where you can put your feet up gotta be uh agile <laughs> so we are gonna cut the hike here and not continue to the panoramic spot because we feel like we've gotten to see all the views we get to see anyway and we want to have time for lunch and to explore the town but yeah you could even just walk 10 minutes on this trail and see some awesome views so if you don't have that much time we highly recommend checking this one out it's very easy pretty flat and the views are spectacular Tamaliza, it's a family run, hole in the wall business. Uh, and we got Tamale Supreme. This is a pork one, this is a beef one. They put black beans on it, uh, uh, shredded spinach, pickled onions, guacamole, some kind of green sauce, cheese, sour cream. Oh my gosh. And we got chips and queso. You can't do it without salsa. chips and queso. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. We wish it was queso. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks delicious. Now it's time for some gelato! I got a medium with hazelnut, coffee, and caramel, and it looks so good. And then Adam got a medium with double chocolate, Cadbury egg, which sounds awesome, and then sweet cream. Next stop in Sedona is Tlake Pake, cool little shopping center with shops, food, and cool looking artwork. Yeah, it's just the, the architecture of this is so beautiful. Yeah. It's named after a city in Mexico, yeah. so the, the architecture is kind of Spanish inspired. It's really, yeah. really pretty. Kind of off topic, but one thing we forgot to mention about Sedona is, is that it's basically this giant vortex, which is an area where the earth just has like more energy from what I understand. That's good for like meditation, self-reflecting. So there's a lot of like yoga here, um, a lot of art, like crystal shops, all that fun stuff. Yeah. 
And last night, our hike to Cathedral Rock was actually one of the, the best or the biggest vortexes in Sedona. So, feeling all the good energy. Yeah, got the good vibes going. Yeah. We lost Callie and Michael for a second <laughs> and then found them at this place called the Chai Spa. They had these awesome couches with these beautiful colored pillows and everything's so colorful. So we're just kind of laying down for a bit and we got this chai. It's called the Butter Chai and I don't remember what's in it, but it has a pinkish color to it and there's apparently pistachios, but uh, the woman who works here said, said that they uh, went for a little dive so they kind of sunk to the bottom. So it's really hot. We haven't tried it yet, but it's super cute. It looks great. Dessert in a cup. Dessert. Right? Yeah, dessert in a cup is what they said, which is great. Cause I mean, we didn't just have gelato or anything. <laughs> really good. You do that thing. Mmm. That's delicious. That is sweet and good and creamy. And you got a little crunch from the nuts. Kind of reminds me of this. It, yeah, it reminds me a little bit. If you haven't seen our Portland vlog, we went to this place called Tove, which is this Egyptian and Turkish coffee shop in a bus. And they have a drink that kind of is like this. It has the nuts in it. It's like a nice texture combination. It's really good. We're gonna end the vlog here. Next up, we're headed to the Grand Canyon, a giant bucket list national park we're gonna check off. It'll actually be our 16th national park and we're so excited. We're gonna hopefully catch an epic sunset there tonight and then spend most of the day there tomorrow. So our next vlog will be all Grand Canyon, so stay tuned for that. If you want to check out Sedona just like we did, we have a two-day guide that we will link to below, which has a lot of the stuff we did, plus some stuff we didn't get to. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome city. We loved it here. Loved it here. We are going to be back here in the van, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and they have blankets to keep you cozy. <laughs> That's my last name. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> hey buddy, you like the microphone? <laughs> Dogs love our microphone because they think it's like a stuffed animal or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>